children i welcome you all to this lesson today i am going to discuss a poem and the name of the poem is i will tell you how the sun rose which is written by emily dickinson in this poem i will discuss each line explanation word meanings along with the literary devices theme and moral of the poem this is a beautiful poem in which the poet has described the truth of life and death with respect to sunrise and sunset so here i begin first of all i will tell you the meaning of the topic i will tell you how the sun rose which means the sky takes on the shades of orange during sunrise and sunset the color that gives us hope that the sun will set only to rise again nothing is more beautiful than the rays of the sun now let me tell you something about the poet emily dickinson emily dickinson was an american poet she was born on 10th december 1830 in us and she died on may 15th 1886 many of her poems deals with the themes of death and immortality now i'll give you a brief introduction of the poem this is a captivating poem in which the poet has described beautifully about the sunrise in the first eight lines of the poem and about the sunset in the next eight lines of the poem the second eight lines is introduced by the term but describing the poet's lack of knowledge of the sunset the poet describes the sunrise and sunset as a village and the things in that village through this poem the poet makes us aware of the difficulties of perceiving the world around us the sunrise is described in terms of a small village with church steeples that is the tower town news and the ladies bonnets whereas the sunset is described as a gathering home of a flock in this poem the poet probes nature's mysteries through the lens of the rising and setting sun now let us start with the first four lines of the poem which refers to sunrise and the lines are i will tell you how the sun rose a ribbon at a time the steeple swam in amidst the news like squirrel ran now i'll give you the word meaning the word sun rose refers to the sunrise R- ribbon means the rays of the sun steeple refers to the church tower amidst refers to a violet or purple color which is seen just before the sunrise now the explanation of the first four lines the poet begins the poem by asserting that she is going to tell her audience how the sun rose she describes the rising of the sun as a series of ribbons in the sky these series of ribbons in the sky with the sunlight bathing the tops of the churches in a deep violet color like amethyst which means the colorful rays slowly swim in amidst the news that the sun has risen not because the people get their daily newspaper in the morning but because everyone is aware of the fact that the sun has risen and it spreads quickly like squirrels running here and there as early in the morning everyone receives a newspaper in the same manner the poet tells us that this is the starting of the day 
Now let us discuss about the literary device used in these lines. The first literary device used is the rhyming scheme and that is in the form of free verse. The second literary device used is the symbolism which means describing the sunrise and sunset as the recurring symbol of birth and death and the word in the lines are number one the sun rose which means life or death running of squirrels which means the frantic and the fast pace speed of the life ribbon which refers to innocence the second the third literary device used in the poem is the imagery and here many forms of imagery are used and the words are the first form of imagery is the sense of sight which is used and the words are the emits the next imagery form of the imagery used is the sense of movement and feelings and the words are swarm in emits then the next literary device used in these lines is the simile and the line of and the line is the news like squirrel ran and the last literary device used in these lines is the alliteration and the line is the stipple swam in amidst now we move towards the fifth to eighth line of the poem which also refers to sunrise now the words be, now the line runs as the hills untied their bonnets the bobo link began Then I said softly to myself, "That must have been the sun." Now the word meaning. Bobolink means it is a species of an American bird, of an American bird. Now the explanation of these lines. The poet says that during the sunrise, it seems that the hills seem to be removing their bonnets in glorious abandon. the bobolink which is an american bird starts singing their morning song melodiously and the poet attributes this to the rising of the sun as the bright fire of the sun appears the darkened blackness first turns blue before taking suddenly the so before taking on its brightness in its full glow of the sun then the poet observes that suddenly the sun appears and it spreads quickly means to say that the sun has risen now let us discuss the literary device the literary device used in these lines are number 1 is the rhyming scheme which is in the form of free verse the second literary device is imagery the poet is uses many forms of imagery Imagery is a figurative language that appeals to the physical senses of the readers in these lines sense of sight that is emits pink in color another form of imagery which is used is the sense of movement and feelings and the words are untied their bonnets the third literary device used is the symbolism which means the images described as sunrise and the sunset are the recurring symbols of birth and death as it is used in the first four lines that is sunrise means birth sunset means death ribbon means innocence steeple means a symbol of religion running squirrel means the frantic and the fast paced speed of life personification is used in this these lines and the line is the hens untied their bonnet now let us move towards the next eight lines of the poem and the line represents and the lines are but how he said i know not there seemed a purple style 
which little yellow boys and girls were climbing all the while. Till when they reached the other side, a dominie in grey put gently up the evening bars and led the flock away. Now the word meanings. The word style means steps to climb over the fence. Dominie symbolizes religion that is the call of the clergyman who comes to collect the yellow boys and girls. Now we move towards the explanation. The explanation of these lines the poet has described in these stanza that the contrasting there is a contrasting between the sunrise and the sunset. With the joyous picture of the sunrise, we have a description of sunset. From the soft violet color of the emits, sunrise we have to a darker purple style, denoting a boundary, maybe a horizon, where the land and sky seem to meet. The poet imagines her location closer to sunrise rather than sunset which is not literally true. But though the poet cannot know for sure how the sun set, she can imagine and report that what she thinks she sees. It seems to, to her that the sun set she saw a purple sky where the little boys and girls were climbing. She sees children climbing over a barrier, possibly going home. After a day of tending sheep or perhaps simply on their way home to school. The lines, they seemed a purple style which little yellow boys and girls were climbing all the way means. The poet makes an attempt to describe the beautiful chaos of colors that are part of the sunset. We can see the metaphor is used to describe the sunset as the poet imagines that little boys and girls are climbing up the purple stem. As she watched the sunset slowly set and the right dishes of colors that occur as a result, purple therefore seems to describe the beauty of the sunset. After climbing the stem, the children finally reached the other side of the heralds. The lowest point of the sun before it disappears is that the cleric or perhaps even a householder or a shepherd closes a gate and leads away the flock of children or the sheep to their back to their homes. At this point, the speaker would be in darkness and have no idea about what happens next. The uncertainty of how the sun set causes this poet's language choices to be tentative, not as certain as she was about how the sun has rose. Now let us discuss the literary devices used in this in these lines. Number one is the rhyming scheme that is in the form of A B C D. The second literary device used is imagery, which is a figurative language that appeals to the physical senses of the readers. The poet uses many forms of imagery, that is, number one, sense of sight, and the words are purple style, yellow boys and girls, dominie in grey. The poem describes various colours as it appeals to the visual sense and the visual images of the readers. Another form of imagery used in these lines is the sense of movement and feeling. And the words are all the while put gently up. The third literary device used is the symbolism. And the words from the lines are Germany, which symbolizes religion, that is, the call of God as the clergyman collects the yellow boys and girls. The fourth literary device used is alliteration, that is, but how he said, I know not. The fifth literary device used is assonance, which means the same vowel sound repeats with a group of words and the line is, we're climbing all the way. 
The sixth literary device used is apostrophe and the line is but how he said I know not I know not. Now let us discuss the theme of the poem. The theme of the poem revolves around the circle of life and death. The poet describes death and immortality through this poem. Although it seems that the poet is just describing a sunset and sunrise by imagery, used images from nature and religion to probe the themes, the wonders of nature, the identity of the self, death, immortality and love are conveyed in this poem. The poet probes nature's mysteries through the lens of the rising and setting of the sun. Now let us discuss the moral of the poem. The moral of the poem is that although sun rises appears to be delightful, excitement, excited in various things but still to every sunrise there is a sunset which is the most fearful element of life means to say that every living organism are bound to die. As we all know, death has no calendar. Sunrise and sunset is about trying to get a place where life is simple and not letting the stress and happenings in the world getting to the way of your happiness. Now, let us conclude the poem. I hope you have understood the poem and it would be beneficial to you. Thank you.